Okay, folks, we're gonna get a little personal here. And actually, we already have once before. See if you remember this. I am here in Seoul, South Korea. The uh, district, believe it or not. We are at the Mobile Nations and Geek Beat meetup in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Yep, that's me. You're probably so yeah, it's a couple years later and it's time to revisit this. Let's go take another look at the Withings Body Plus Scale. Now Withings is sponsoring this video, but I tell you, this is one of those rare tech products that actually is still in my home two years later and that I still use just about every day. So let's go take a look at what's new and what's still the same actually and why I think everybody needs something like this. So the Withings Body Plus is what's known as a body composition scale. And really that means it measures more than just how much you weigh. It costs $99 and you can have it in any color you want as long as it's white or black. And like I said, it can measure all kinds of stuff. So it'll do weight of course, but it also does fat mass, the percentage of body water. Uh, it'll do bone mass, muscle mass, BMI. It'll show you the weather if you need it to show you the weather. It'll also show you how many steps you've taken if you need to see that on your scale. That's all relatively simple stuff, right? Especially the weight, but also things like BMI. I mean, that's straight math. We've all done that for years. Now, the body composition stuff is a little more fancy, though. Here's what's going on. The Body Plus scale uses bioelectrical impedance analysis for that one. And that is, while you're standing on it, it's actually sending these little electrical impulses up through your body and measures the resistance and impedance and all that electrical. I'm not an electrical engineer, but that's how it works. And don't worry, you won't feel a thing. You can't feel a thing. It's not that strong an electrical current. So setup is super simple. You're gonna need the Withings app on your phone. It works on iOS or Android. It works really the same on either one. You're gonna connect the scale to your phone real quick over Bluetooth, and then you're gonna give it your Wi-Fi password, and that actually lets it work without your phone. So it will sync directly to the cloud, and you don't have to worry about having your phone on you. After all that, it's really just a matter of stepping on the thing. And one more thing to remember here, and it's, you know, not my favorite part of this video, but you gotta have bare feet. That goes back to the whole electrical impedance thing. It's also best to have the scale on a hard surface like a wood or a tile floor, but if you have to use it on carpet, it comes with these little footy things to put on the feet of the scale that let you use it on carpet, so that's nice. So when it's actually doing its thing, this is where stuff gets really cool. The Body Plus scale is smart enough to figure out who's stepping on it, so I created secondary accounts for my wife and kids. When I step on the scale, it says, hey, there's a 200 pound person, that's Phil. And I say, yes, yes it is. So when my wife or kids stand on it, it says, oh, all right, this person weighs less, that's who it is, I'm gonna sync their information to their account, your information to your account, you'll only see your stuff unless you wanna go see it. It's smart, it works exactly how you would want something like this to work. And again, to repeat, this is why the Body Plus scale has been in my house this long and I keep using it because that's exactly what I expect this sort of device to do, and it does it, and it does it really well, and it does it the first time, every time. So I'll step on, I'll weigh myself, and then it starts flashing through all the things that it just measured, right? It starts with weight for the obvious reasons, it goes through body mass, body composition, all that stuff, and you can turn those on and off depending on what it is you actually wanna see. I don't care about seeing the weather or my steps on my scale, so I just turn those off and it actually lets me get through things a little bit quicker. And after all that, as I mentioned, it all syncs up, to the cloud. And that brings me to another really important feature of all this, actually. So what do you do with all that data? I mean, it's 2020. It's not enough just to track it, have it written down, right? We gotta be able to do things with it. Well, all right, you can just use it all straight within the Withings app if you want, and they make it really easy to export it and send it to your doctor uh, in a handy PDF. So anything you measure within the Withings ecosystem, you can send their way, very cool. Or if you prefer, and you're using something like Google Fit on Android and the Google ecosystem, or if you're using Apple's health stuff, you can export your data into those streams as well. So you don't have to go into the Withings app and go into the Apple health app. You just open it up and all your data is in one place. Very cool. Oh, and by the way, I am also, if you remember this old video, still keeping track of my blood pressure. That hasn't gone away yet. Now, since then, I have updated to the Withings BPM Connect. It's the updated version of their blood pressure cuff, and I tell you, I like it way better. First, it's smaller. Uh, it's just got a much, much improved design. And it also has you know little LEDs on the front of it, so I don't actually have to sync it to my phone anymore to use it. I just hit the button, it starts measuring things, and once it's done its thing in about 60 seconds, it shows me the results right there on the screen and syncs it up to the cloud automatically via Wi-Fi. No more phone, love that. Keeping my blood pressure down though. All right, I got a little more work to do there. 
So that's it for the Withings Body Plus Scale. Again, $99, something I use every single day. Blood pressure cuff is $99 as well if you wanna keep things in the same ecosystem, which is really how I like to do it. I like to try to keep things together as much as I can. The scale makes it super easy to keep track of your weight and all that other stuff. And I tell you, I still don't really worry about what each number is every day of the week. I really am looking for that trend line, right? I wanna see it going down a little bit. Flat is fine, up is bad down is better. So that's the important part and that's why it's so important to be able to track all this stuff. So that's it for the Withings Body Plus Scale. If you got any more questions on it, hit me up in the comments or go find me on the socials. That's it. See you next time. <laughs>